You are a good boy. Ah, a new letter. Too loud. Let us hear our love of the Lord. Careful on the low note, Odo. Very good. Bishop. Eivor, a great pleasure to see you again. Does your god have ears large enough to hear this song? He does indeed. Since the death of Rodri, our shire lives in peace. And we celebrate that peace with music and prayer. You do not fear reprisal from the Britons. Angharad divided her kingdom among her sons. The eldest, Anarod, busies himself by squabbling with the others. And if he prevails and unites the clans? May that day never come, God willing. I received word from King Cherwulf. He has interred Chelbert in Tamworth. The lad merits a visit. In honor of his memory, yes. Eivor, this was among Chelbert's possessions. I'm certain he would have wanted you to have it. I'm honored. I leave you here to your music, good bishop. God go with you, Eivor.
Jailbird, you are now with your guard, and I am left here to mourn the loss of a fine young man. Lord, Ivo. I wondered if I would ever see you again. It's... It's good to see you. I wanted to visit. See how you were doing. Kind of you. I've been... somewhat lost. Truth be told. With Chilbert gone, the world seems to have... lost a shade of color. I know something of this feeling. I lost my father, my mother, my entire clan. He respected you, Eivor. If not for you, he might have remained just as you found him. A naive boy, devoid of experience. Not naive. He simply saw the good in people. Wanted to draw it out. That he did. May God bless you, Eivor. Whatever remains of my son in this world, I believe it travels with you. Lord, Evo, kind, and he is not that may God. As king, it is my most solemn duty to confer the title of Elderman. Giedrich, you have shown through stalwart combat and iron determination, both here and at the battle in Kent, that you are worthy. Do you swear fealty to the king of Mercia? I do. Do you fully dedicate your life to Oxinifordshire? 
in both peace and war. I do. Do you swear to work for the common good of your Shire, and to uphold justice for Thanes and Cheryls alike? By God, I do. Then come to me, loyal Thane. May the blessed lands of Oxenefordshire and all of Mercia prosper. Almost I could believe in old Cease's idea to lob flaming oil pots onto their ship. Gidrich, Eivor, didn't expect to see you here. You're now Elderman. After the fight in Kent, the men insisted we have the ceremony. Thane Holt himself brought Cheerwolf here in pomp. It's an honor for you to have Cheerwolf appear. Rascally old bastard. Has some tales about you. How is Edwin faring in your care? Ah, uh, that's a bit of a story, that is. She took her loss badly, and tried to end her own life. My wife calmed her some, and we set her up in the convent. Seemed well enough to me that she devote herself to the Almighty. She walked the paths, helped the poor, had a knack with flowers, raised blue rosemary, red and yellow pansies. Rue. One evening, my wife goes to take us some soup. Found the convent guard stabbed dead by a sharpened crucifix. Edwin gone. Wondering now if her despair was all a ruse, a plot to escape. If so, I figure she's fled to Alfred. I hope you're wrong, my friend. If she is, I'll be ready to fight. Farewell, Kidrich. God be with you, Eivor. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Ah, a new letter. What did I do, Eivor? How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased.
This must be snotting out. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemminger Jarl's rule. Nottingham. It's gold. I can now drink it out of the supplies. We may set off at any moment. A good traveler. What seek you? My price. All right. Trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, <laughs> but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts! Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heminger Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large work debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to to raid, not toil. Die! Picks ashore! Protect the convoy!
Ready, foes. Fire! 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 Steady! Ready! Thorpe siege. Here, we can continue. Have a look, Sunin. Orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Dilly and Hemminger Jarl will be pleased to see you.
have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. To pick Freya's kiss, you came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingya Jarl. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. It warned me to hear Billy's name again. In coming to England, I thought I'd left the best of Norway behind. Uh, he often thinks on the old country as well. Seems to think his life was simpler then. Uh, it may be he is right. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Trigfi rides for Stonebird. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Billy. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my callous hands? You can have your glory, Billy. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons! Bring victory today, for tomorrow we feast! made a burden with flame unbridled! The pit chief hides behind his head like a cow. He will be well fortified. Look for him. should not be seen in this area.
You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I am fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> I love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Emiya? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to hemming a yawl. Let us not burden ourselves with the all-thing choice yet. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. <laughs> 